This is your prophecy update. Revelation chapter 9, verse 13 through 16, gives a prophecy of the sixth trumpet war or World War III, and it says this, And the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, saying, To the sixth angel which had the trumpet, loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates, and the four angels were loosed, which were prepared for an hour a day, a month and a year, for to slay the third part of men. And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000 thousand, and I heard the number of them. So John prophesied a war occurring at least three and a half years prior to the, sec to the second coming of Jesus Christ and the battle of Armageddon. During the sounding of the sixth trumpet of Revelation chapter 9, he saw the largest military force that has ever gathered for battle in the history of the world, a 200 million man army. Well, according to the biblical account of the sixth trumpet war, one third of the population of the entire earth, more than two billion people will be destroyed in, when the four angels are released in the region of the Euphrates River. The prophecy foretells the biggest, most horrible war that has ever been or ever will be recorded. World War II resulted in 52 million casualties. This coming war will kill 40 times that many. Well, the Euphrates River War is bordered entirely by Muslim countries. It's located in Turkey, it goes through Syria, Iraq, and then down into Iran and empties into the Persian Gulf. The Euphrates River region is where World War III will originate from. Well, the Express reports that Saudi Arabia has issued furious World War III warnings to Iran as the Middle East tensions soar. The senior Saudi official threatened to respond to aggression against the nation after rebels in Iran fired a missile at the capital, Riyadh. The missile, uh, which was fired from Yemen towards Riyadh's international airport, before being intercepted on November 4th, was branded an act of war by Saudi Arabia. And Saudi, uh, the Saudi foreign minister, uh, Adel Al-Jabir, ramped up angry rhetoric at an emergency meeting of the Arab League at its headquarters in Cairo, Egypt, just a few days ago. He said, no Arab capital is safe from Iran's aggression. Showing leniency towards Iran will not leave any Arab capital safe from those ballistic missiles. We will not stand idly by in the face of Iran's aggression. Iran created agents in the region, such as the, the Houthi rebels and the Hezbollah militias, in total disregard for all international principles. The warning was followed by a statement from the Arab League saying that it would act against Iran using a political strategy, strategy if possible. And it read, we're not declaring war on Iran at this time. And we've not taken a decision to ask the Security Council to meet, but we are just briefing the council. And maybe the next stage would be for us to meet and call for a Security Council meeting and submit a draft Arab resolution against Iran. Saudi Arabia has become increasingly rattled by Iran after the rocket attack, which it claims was launched by Iranian-backed fighters all the way down in Yemen. Strife-torn Yemen has been sucked into a deadly tug of war between Saudi Arabia, giving military backing to the country's ousted government, and Iran, offering material support to the counties. Uh, the country's Houthi rebels. Only time will tell if current tensions in the Euphrates River region will escalate into World War III. One thing we know for sure, the Euphrates River War is one of the next prophesied events on God's prophetic timeline, and the prophecies always come to pass.